Hello, great that you joined us again. My name is Peter Barsky from Holy Med Nuremberg in Germany and I will guide you through these lessons on the bioresonance instrument RemiWave Pro. In this part of the presentation I would like to talk about a couple of special performance features of the RemiWave Pro bioresonance instrument. We will speak about the frequency range of the instrument and the automatic mode which is unique to our bioresonance instruments and we will talk about the importance of having a really calibrated instrument. Let's begin with the frequency range the RemiWave Pro system processes. This image shows you schematically the frequency range or oscillation range or wave range RemiWave Pro deals with. At the lower end all our bioresonance instruments start at 0 Hz, what means 0 cycles per second or in other words direct electric current or in the meaning of bioresonance, the electrostatic field of the body. This means that the instrument can handle extremely slow fluctuations of the electric body field. We included this ability of handling direct electric current in our systems already in 1996 because we have seen using the EAV, which is the electroacupuncture according Dr. Four, that when this range is included, the values measured by the EAV can be compensated much more rapidly to the value of 50, which is the target value of the EAV. The next section on the image is called extremely low frequencies which are here defined to be in the range between 1 Hz and 20 Hz. By the way, the abbreviation Hz means cycles or waves per second. Here we find the so-called Schumann waves, which are around about 7.8 Hz. However, also for example, slow changes of electrostatic voltages or electrochemical voltages on the body surface. Then the next frequency section is equivalent to the audio range, what means the waves you can hear if a loudspeaker would be connected to the system. Okay, I admit uh, 30 kilohertz are a bit much for most of us, but your pets might be able to go even beyond that. Okay, the spectrum continues with the area between 30 kilohertz and 300 kilohertz, which is basically radio long wave. And at the top, the upper limit of the frequency range RemiWave Pro can process. Here we have 1 million hertz, which is also called 1 megahertz, and which is in fact just about in the middle of the AM radio waves. Why do we have extended the range of waves so much compared to other traditional bioresonance systems? The answer to this question is fairly easy, because we and others, using different testing techniques such as EAV and kineosology and the wave scanner product, have found that in all sections of this wide spectrum resonance effects occur, which means the muscle reacts strong or the EAV value is at 50, what is the target value of the EAV. Okay, so much about the frequency range RemiWave Pro is able to process. Well, I mentioned already the automatic mode, which is available at all our bioresonance systems in the first part of these series of presentations. Now, I would like to explain what basically the automatic mode is doing. 
I mentioned already several times the EAV, which is a way of measuring electrical values of certain acupuncture nodes. And we used this method in 1993 and 1994 to find out about the influence of the frequency and amplification settings which are used with bioresonance instruments. And at that time we saw that there is not only a single parameter set, but a whole bunch of such parameter sets which normalize, in the sense of the EAV, the measured value of a certain node. Such parameter sets are also called resonant points and they are located on a plane which is made up by the amplification and the frequency. Here in this image you see such a plane and the horizontal axis represents the amplification or attenuation of the incoming signal and the vertical axis shows the frequency. In that case the frequency range goes from 0 Hz, what means direct current, up to 1 MHz. The little yellow dots on the plane shall illustrate the different resonant points. You see, they are all at different amplifications or attenuations and frequencies. For using the bioresonance efficiently, it would be necessary to test for each of these individual resonant points. But this is a cumbersome and very time-consuming process. Luckily, while doing all these tests to find such resonant points, we found a way to make this process much easier and quicker. Using a set of mathematic formulae, we scan the whole plane automatically, and therefore the name automatic mode. The following animation shows you, in a simplified way, the principal operation of the automatic mode. The major advantage of the automatic mode is that we don't need complicated settings of the bioresonance instrument. No, we just select the time and press the start button. This is all what needs to be done to use the automatic mode. After the automatic mode finished, you may measure the nodes again to see whether their values are really better than before. And in fact, they are. As I already mentioned, you will find the automatic mode in all our bioresonance instruments in a different way and you see the difference by the timing patterns used at the instruments. For example, the BioSwing series of products use a 3 minutes pattern, whereas the Remy Waveline uses a 5 minutes pattern. And the main reason for the difference is the different frequency ranges the instruments can handle. The next topic I would like to talk about is about the precision of the bioresonance systems. This was already an issue here in Germany because some people measured the output of one or the other system and when they compared the current setting of the instrument with the real output they found some significant deviations. This illustration may shed some light on this issue. Let's assume you want a setting of 80,000 Hz and you have the new instrument and you measure the output, then you may indeed get those 80,000 Hz. But after a while, and probably under different environmental conditions, we have to consider the behavior of electronic parts. In other words, we have some parts aging, what means their values change over the time slightly, or we have a value change because of a higher environmental temperature. And here in this example, let's assume the instrument is now several months old and we set again the parameter to 80,000 and measure the output. And now we see that the actual frequency which is sent to the output channel is above 86 kHz, which is an error of around about 7%. If we consider an additional change in the ambient temperature, then the error might go even beyond that. 
We at Holymed know that our instruments are, for example, used in the heat of Arizona and a week later in the cold of Alaska, and because we know that our instruments are usually used for many, many years, we do not accept such a significant error. This is the reason why we added to the electronics of RemiWave Pro a complete calibration system. When the recalibration is called using the menu command of the PC software, then not only the frequency domain is calibrated, but also the amplification and the attenuation of the signals, because this is another source what could cause significant errors, and we just don't want that. So when you have your instrument in a cold area, and then you move to a pretty hot area, just call the recalibration, and you can be sure that your RemiWave Pro will work again in the same way as it did on the first day. When you call the recalibration, let's say every six months, the parts aging is also compensated. And if you would like to have that verified, then a technician who has a wave generator and an oscilloscope can show you the precision of the instrument. Okay, so much about the recalibration and the precision of our instruments. Finally, a few other words about product safety and product reliability. All our systems are not connected to the wall power. If an instrument is connected to the wall power, then we have always the problem that because of limited isolation, and humidity and dust, that the electric current is flowing from the wall power plug into the instrument and then over the client to the earth. This side effect is not helpful to the bioresonance and therefore we avoid it as best as possible. So our instruments use rechargeable batteries only. These batteries are charged using an external battery charger and are then inserted here into these compartments. And we do not use special batteries, we only use the so-called C cells, or in some countries they are called baby cells, and you can get replacements when necessary at almost any electronics stores. And let's have finally a word about the connection to the computer because the computer is usually connected to the mains power and if we would use a wire connection then we would have the same problem again and therefore we use a glass fiber connection which is driven by a USB to glass fiber converter and this converter is plugged into a normal USB track on the PC. On the other side of the cable, the glass fiber plugs are inserted in here. This way, we have no current flowing from the mains power over the system to the client to the earth, nor do we have interfering signals which may come from the computer because of the so-called bus noise inside the computer. So you see, the RemiWave Pro has many features which are hard to find elsewhere, and there would be even more to discuss such as the very high selective bond pass systems we use and the bioresonance programs and much much more. Well, in the next lesson we will talk about these bioresonance programs and I will give you an overview on the PC software and it would be great if you join us again. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.